Well, today I'm going to do an experiment to see if I can transfer this image onto a piece of resin that I'll have cast. I have no idea if this is going to work at all, and if it does, then that'll be great. So we will see once it's finished. I have a funny feeling that it might not work, but check it out. Watch the whole video with me. I haven't tested this beforehand, so let's see if it will work. Now I'm going to use a good quality resin for this, so I'm going to be using the J Diction Times 3 UV Protect resin to pour this and let it cure. Now my resin's mixed up, what I can do is pour this in here and let that cure up, ready to try out transferring it over. I want to only fill this up about a third of the way up, because if it does work, then I'm going to put a base on top of the actual photograph as well, which will hopefully set it all off. But that's if it does work. <laughs> Who knows, it might not work. What I can do is leave this now overnight, somewhere nice and level, using one of my leveling tables, so this can cure up and then do the rest of it tomorrow. I will go over it with a long neck lighter very shortly and pop any bubbles that have come up to the top. I've let this cure, it is not fully, fully hard. It is still a little bit soft, but cured enough to touch. Now what I'm going to do is prep my picture. Now I know this works on other things, but I've got a funny feeling it's not gonna work on this and it's gonna wash off afterwards. But unless I try it, I don't know. So stick around to the end of the video to find out if it does work. What I'm going to do is I've got some Mod Podge here and I know the Mod Podge has worked well for this type of thing before and all I'm doing is going over this picture with a nice layer of the Mod Podge, brushing it as an even layer as I can and all going in the same direction uh, like that. And now all I need to do is turn that over, get this mold here and place this where I want it. I'm not sure how even that is. And then push it down, make sure there's no bubbles because it needs to all be in contact with whatever you're doing the transfer onto. And then I'm going to burnish it with my fingers all the way across like this. And I'll do that for a couple of minutes and then I'll let this completely dry. This should be dry now. I've left it a couple of hours, but I still don't think this is going to work on resin, but I'll be pleasantly surprised if it does. So what I'm going to do first is Give it a little spray, and this is just clear water, and leave that on there for a couple of minutes. Hopefully, it's not going to dissolve the Mod Podge, which is also water soluble. But normally, I find when I've done it on other things, but not on resin, that it's actually worked out okay. Now, leave that for a couple of minutes and let that soak right in before I start to remove the paper. Okay, and now all I'm going to do is go across and remove like the top layer of this paper by rubbing gently my fingers over the paper and as you can see it's bringing bits off the image is still there which is great news once i've took this bit off then once i've done that i'll show you how i'd get the rest of it off then we'll see if this has worked well so far this has actually worked out better than i thought i've got most of the paper off and this is what's left i'm now going to dry this or let it dry and then pour my final layer of resin on it. I'm not sure whether to put a white backing on it or not. So what I'm going to do is do a thin layer without one, see how it looks and then maybe put a coloured backing on it if I don't like it. And this is all the paper I got off it. So it came off quite easily. I wish I'd done the picture so it went all the way around to the whole border. But I didn't, so there we go. But this is an experiment after all. This is all lovely and dry now, and I'm going to pour my resin over it. Any bubbles that come up, I'll just pop them with a long neck lighter. And then we'll let that cure up. I'll show you what it looks like once it's cured up. If it doesn't look great, then I can put a very thin coloured layer over the back of that, and we can then look at that. Well, this is all nice and cured now, and I think the image has transferred over, but it looks like one of those really old type of images that you get <laughs> where people make photographs on plates and things like that. It hasn't come out quite 
as clear as I hoped it would do as a perfect image, but I don't dislike it. But I do think it needs something on the back of it to help that image show up. And I think something white as opposed to something a dark colour is going to look better. So what I'm going to do is quickly turn that over and pour a white background onto this using mica powder. Just a thin background, just enough to fill in this little indent where the mould is cured. So I've got my resin all mixed up now with some white mica powder in it. And now all I'm going to do is put a thin layer over this. Spread it out and then let that cure up and we can have a look and see how that's come out. This is all nicely cured now so I'm going to be interested to see how it's turned out. Well I quite like that. I think it's made the picture and the image a little bit clearer and given out some more details on it. It might be the quality of the picture or it could be just the technique. It's not quite how I wanted it to look. I wanted it to be a bit more colourful. But overall, I think it has come out really, really well. It's quite an ethereal picture. I mean, the little gnome that I made a long time ago on my other channel as a doorstop, that has come out brilliantly. And it might be because the dogs are white. I don't know. Let me know in the comments what you think and if you've done it. I definitely think it's a bit of a game changer on how to transfer images onto resin and i do quite like it check out the video that i've got coming up next that's a great experiment i think you'll really enjoy that one be sure to boot the like button hit that subscribe button and most of all take care and enjoy your resin bye